Scientists have found planets where it rains glass at 5,000 miles per hour, oceans boil into lava, and stars literally eat their own children. These worlds shouldn't exist, but they do. And compared to them, Earth is basically a daycare. Let's count down the top 10 planets that shouldn't exist, but do. K2-141b makes hell look like a weekend getaway. Orbiting its star in just seven hours, it's tidally locked. One side eternal day, the other eternal night. On the hot side, temps hit 3000 degrees Celsius, enough to boil rock into vapor. That vapor rises, cools, and rains back as stone. Earth's water cycle, but instead of showers, you're dodging molten boulders. Winds scream across the Terminator zone, flattening everything before rocks finish the job. Lava tornadoes spiral skyward, and the molten oceans churn like a pot someone forgot to turn off. Land here and your ship melts before the atmosphere, leaving you roasting marshmallows with your career wreckage. K2-141b is Earth's evil twin. If Earth had been designed by a sadistic video game developer who kept clicking add more lava. And the scariest part? Astronomers call it stable. That's like describing chainsaw juggling as safe enough. Technically true, but don't volunteer to test it. From a distance, HD 189733b sparkles like a sapphire jewel. Up close, it's a cosmic blender set to shred. The blue color comes from silicate particles, microscopic glass shards suspended in atmosphere. Winds roar at 8,700 kilometers per hour, driving sideways glass rain that slices through metal, skin, and bone. Add 2.5 times Earth's gravity and radiation, stripping the atmosphere. You're dead before you can admire the view. Think being rolled into sushi, but with glass shrapnel and despair. Astronomers even saw the planet storms dimming its light in real time, which is space speak for this planet is actively screaming into the void. Even the toughest spaceship armor would be carved into scrap faster than a teenager with a Dremel tool. And if you thought sunglasses would help, remember, here, the glass comes at you, not the other way around. Nicknamed Hoth, this is one of the coldest exoplanets ever found, minus 220 degrees Celsius. Orbiting a faint red dwarf, it's locked in endless frost. The surface is a frozen sludge of methane, ammonia, and nitrogen. Basically, the galaxy's least appetizing snow cone. Step outside and your breath crystallizes, lungs collapse, and your body snaps like a breadstick in liquid nitrogen. No storms, no drama just silence as heat drains away molecule by molecule. Sci-fi snowstorms? Forget it. Here, there's nothing. Just a freezer turning you into brittle astronaut jerky. Scientists call it a failed Earth, meaning it had the ingredients but froze before life began. Basically, cosmic bread dough left in the freezer forever. At least it won't melt you alive. But don't relax, the next one pelts you with rubies. And suddenly, you'll find yourself wishing for boring frostbite. This gas giant orbits so close to its star, it's stretched into a football. At 2,500 degrees Celsius, metals vaporize into clouds that condense into jewels. On the dark side, it rains rubies and sapphires, not gently, but at terminal velocity. A marble-sized jewel doesn't sparkle. It rips through hulls like a bullet. Toss in megacyclones that could fling you into orbit, and you've got storms that kill three ways, roasted, shredded, or launched. Astronomers have measured water vapor here, meaning you could have rubies, sapphires, and scalding hot steam raining at once. It's like being pummeled by a jewel-encrusted espresso machine from hell. Pirates would cry at the irony. Treasure everywhere, but mining it means becoming space confetti. And if you're thinking, at least it's pretty, remember, so is a blender filled with Christmas ornaments. Kepler-70b was once a gas giant until its star ballooned and swallowed it. Instead of dying, the rocky core survived. Now it orbits a hot subdwarf closer than Mercury is to our sun. Surface temps? 6,800 degrees Celsius. Hotter than the sun's surface. 
Land here and you don't die slowly, you're vaporized instantly. Scientists don't know how it survived, but it proves zombie planets exist, crawling back from stellar death like a cosmic Walking Dead episode. Even stranger, it has a sibling, Kepler-70c, also a star survivor, and the two whirl around in orbits so tight they nearly collide. Imagine two glowing embers circling a blowtorch while daring each other to blink. If this were a movie, it'd be Fast and Furious, Stellar Drift. Except here, there's no miraculous survival, just instant cremation, and no Vin Diesel. Gliese 1132, B looks deceptively Earth-like. Same size, rocky, even the same age, but its air is laced with hydrogen cyanide. A few breaths, and your body forgets oxygen. You suffocate while breathing. Cyanide seeps through suits, making survival nearly impossible. Add volcanic activity pumping acidic plumes, and you're standing inside a chemical weapons factory. Temperature, 137 degrees Celsius hot enough to melt your skin before you realize you're dying. Worse, its star bombards it with radiation, reshaping the surface like sandpaper. Astronomers think the atmosphere regenerates, recycling its poison like a never-ending fart in an elevator. Earth has oxygen, Gliese 1132b has a cyanide-scented noose. And yet, it keeps luring scientists back, proof that even toxic planets know how to catfish humanity. This planet is basically the universe's disco ball. Orbiting its star in 19 hours, it reflects 80% of incoming light, brighter than snow or Venus. The reason? Clouds made of titanium vapor. At 2,000 degrees Celsius, it rains molten metal. Land here and you'd be flash-boiled, chrome-plated, then melted into slag. Astronomers say it's in a forbidden zone where planets shouldn't exist. It should have been ripped apart, but nope, it's shining like a giant middle finger to physics. If Elon Musk tried colonizing it, he'd end up with a Tesla puddle of liquid chrome. Flashy, dangerous, and ridiculous. Basically, the Kardashians of exoplanets. And unlike Disco, this shiny nightmare will never go out of style, it'll just outlive common sense. Twice Earth's size, orbiting in 18 hours, this super-Earth might be a carbon world. Translation, crushing pressure turns carbon into diamond. Imagine continents glittering with crystalline mountains. Value, more than every economy on Earth. Survival odds, zero. At 2,000 degrees Celsius, you vaporize before seeing the bling. Some models suggest lava seas on the day side, making it both gem and crematorium. Mining, forget it. Your drills melt before touching the surface. Astronomers also say it might smell like burnt plastic. So yes, beautiful, deadly, and stinks. The universe basically made a Gucci handbag that kills you for looking at it. Even worse, it'll never end up in a heist movie because the loot would vaporize along with the thieves. Not glamorous, but unforgettable. LHS3844b is Planet Fart because its air reeks of sulfur dioxide and hydrogen sulfide, the same gases behind rotten eggs. Its volcanic surface constantly belches plumes, turning the planet into a choking cloud. Step outside and your lungs burn, eyes sting, skin blisters, your final act, vomiting before suffocating in cosmic flatulence. Even your ghost would smell bad. The planet also has no protective atmosphere, so radiation scorches the surface nonstop. Imagine being microwaved and tear gassed at once, while the world smells like a rotten egg omelet. Forget colonization. This place couldn't even host a Taco Bell bathroom. And just when you think space couldn't be more insulting, it proves even farts can kill you. Poltergeist orbits a pulsar, the collapsed corpse of a massive star spinning 161 times per second. Pulsars beam radiation like cosmic lighthouses, sweeping death across their systems. Stand here and X-rays unravel DNA in seconds. Your nervous system fries, blood boils, and your body falls apart molecule by molecule. No quirky jewel storms, just annihilation. 
Astronomers discovered it in the 1990s, making it one of the first known exoplanets, which is terrifying when you realize our first glimpse of alien worlds was a death trap. The name Poltergeist fits. This isn't a planet, it's a ghost circling a corpse star. Want survival? Please. The only ticket here is to radiation poisoning. Sometimes the scariest monsters are the simplest ones. A dead star still killing everything around it. And the worst part? Scientists cheerfully study it anyway. Like, cool. Let's poke the cosmic blender. And that's the Cosmic Freak Show. Please like the video, it's easier than dodging glass rain. Subscribe to Cosmo Binge unless you enjoy being wrong. And if I skipped your favorite death planet, let me know in the comments so we can all admire your terrible taste together.